Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we booked a one-way flight to Colombia, and after traveling to 11 countries, we were locked down in India for five months. Coming back to the U.S., we decided to pivot into boat life and cruise on a 6,000-mile journey called America's Great Loop. Make sure to subscribe as we share the highs, lows, and everything in between. We just left Pivot and we're heading to the farmer's market. We're heading just the tail end. It ends at 11 and it's 10 something right now. One Saturday we were in Beaufort, South Carolina and they actually had their farmer's market on a Wednesday. So we missed that. And I don't know if there were other farmer mar farmer's markets on in other cities that we just missed, but we do love going to them. So we do hunt them out. So I don't know, maybe I, maybe we missed it, I don't know. Now Dorita has been bringing her herbs from Washington City every year for 22 years, once a year, to the Oriental Farmers Market. And this is her last year. There's just such a variety, it's just insane. We even saw a plant from India, <laughs> that was kind of cool. We did ask if Dorita had any like advice for keeping them alive on a boat, and uh, she said it's probably the salty air that's been killing our plants. It's definitely not the fact that I forgot to water them for a week. It's hard to believe that the town dock is free. On a beautiful Saturday, you get the farmer's market, the race, you know, you get the breweries open today and they have live music there. Like, you know. And if you didn't know, we said this in a previous video, but you can always check to see if the town docks are open before you get here because they have a live video feed of the harbor. You just go to towndock.net, you see a picture of the, a video of the current status of it. And, um, yeah, and then you can make sure you, you know, when you're coming out of Beaufort, you'll come across the news and say, should we go or no? And you look, free dock, why not? While we were at the farmer's market, we ran into two of our followers, Doug and Tony. And they have a boat as well, and we were just sharing some boat stories and that similar feeling of learning as you are a new boater. And uh, yeah, it was just amazing to meet other people who have those similar like learning experiences, learning lessons, and you know, just are going through the same or very similar things. So thanks for saying hi, Doug and Tony. Back to Pivot, now it's time to continue our day. I'm finishing up this video. I'm trying to release it tonight at 6 p.m. So hopefully I only have like a half an hour left on that. Got to tidy up the boat and make the most of this day. The day is getting away from us. It's already 11.20. Our goal for today is work and then play. So we got to get to work. <laughs> really, got to get to work. Today I'm just painting Kiwi Grip. And so I'm doing a little bit of taping, not a lot, because most of the edges from the previous paint job look good. Um, and so I'm not trying to do a lot more work than is required here. Um, but I do think I'm going to have to come back through with our uh, side paint. We use um, a Total Boat top side paint for that. And uh, come back and touch up that. But that requires a little bit more prep work. The Kiwi Grip is basically just wash and, and paint over existing kiwi grip which is pretty nice uh, that's one of the reasons why we chose it because of its ease of application so i tried to do a little bit of sanding not a lot came off but i think it's all right 
I'm just taping some of the edges, which I do have to redo. But the other stuff I'm just leaving and I just won't paint that. So, yeah, hopefully I'm precise enough for that. Just to give you a little behind the scenes or just a little real real, this is what our life currently looks like. We are editing a video, responding to comments on or people on Nebo, importing photos about to take out the recycling, lots of dirty dishes, uh, beds are not made, tools are out, and clothes are all over. Our trash is leaking on our deck. That's super. Um, Elliot is doing the decks, sanding. So we're everyone's favorite neighbor right now. And uh, yeah, life on a boat. Life doing the loop. Real life going on. Today for lunch, my method was use the thing that's most bulky in the refrigerator that needs to be eaten quickly, soon, that I can get rid of and ha make more room in the refrigerator for more food. So today we're hoping to do a grocery haul. Not a huge one, but just a grocery haul for like the next week or so. And you know, this is, this is, this is lunch. This is lunch and dinner probably. I am making the most of this dock and I'm gonna go for a run. It's been a while and I'm gonna be running to the Piggly Wiggly. Can't just get exercise, gotta get exercise and something else checked off the list, so some groceries. There's a lot more groceries than uh, I was hoping to take back. Now I get to walk alongside a highway on the way back home. I was gonna ask for the uh, ride back, but they were dealing with some stuff inside the store, so I didn't want to add on to what they had to deal with. It was a tough day in Piggly Wiggly, but it's only a mile back, so, you know, it is what it is. Well, I got my exercise for the day, so check. All done. I'm 99% sure Jen went to meet me to help me with the groceries and we walked different paths. And Jen's phone is right here. Nice. Boat life. We are meeting currently for drinks. Another looper. Oh, they teeth on and uh, yeah, running a little bit late. Grocery store took a lot longer. Them the lamp. Hello. Hi. Did you go to try to help and meet me? Yeah, I did. How'd you know I wasn't there? 
I saw a piglet shuttle go by. No way. Yeah. Okay. We are now meeting a fellow set of loopers that we have chatted on Nevo um, with quite frequently. Their name is currently from Chattanooga Ranger Tug. And uh, yeah, time to enjoy some of the community on the Great Loop. And we were gonna meet them at the brewery we went to last night, but my run took a little bit longer than planned. So instead we're gonna meet them at Barco's, which is this fusion restaurant right outside the marina. Um, grab some drinks there. Look at that sunset. That sunset is incredible. We had such a great time with Maggie and Bruce. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, thanks for meeting us. And finally, we saw them in South Florida. We saw them just like hopping up in the loop, but never points cross. And that's what you'll find whenever you do the loop. You'll see people, and then you'll meet people, and then you'll stick with them, and then you'll leave them, and then come back around. Yeah. So it was just so much fun. Yeah, that was a lovely evening. Yeah. And uh, now we have this beautiful sunset as we head back to Pivot, head back to get more work done, but you know, that's the name of the game. And it's been such a fun time in Oriental. We love it here. Yeah. Like, oh, I didn't tell you. Oh. They have pickleball courts. What? Like coming back, I was crisscrossing, you know? Yeah. And we ran right into it. So that was like, I mean, as if the Oriental needed anything else. It doesn't need anything else, but they have pickleball courts. Thank you again to Richard for arranging the dock and Gary, whose slip it is. So thank you, both of y'all. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed this video as we explored and enjoyed our time in Oriental. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow as we cruise further on the Great Loop. To a destination we have not been before. <laughs> yeah. I love you. But. It's salty here. Babe, we've got new plants then. Yeah, I killed one set of plants. The new plants, they're okay, but not, I mean, they're not thriving. They're just surviving. What do you mean they're not thriving? They're thriving. They're surviving. <laughs> and feel like the, what's it called? Elliot. Come on. Ollie. Elliot. Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> this too is yachting. Thanks, Dad and Beth. Oh my god, there's pickleball courts. As if Oriental couldn't get any cooler. Wow.